Hello guys, this is Jason with Tunatech, and today I got the sequel to one of my favorite devices of last year. Okay, so we have mobile phones, laptops, and tablets. Depending on what you like, each one's more useful than the other, depending on what you do. So we have Apple, we have Samsung, we even have Lenovo making tablets. But there's another person making tablets, and that is this guy, these companies right here, OnePlus. Last year, they introduced the OnePlus Pad, which had a Dimensity uh, chipset from MediaTek, and it was a pretty good device. Um, I bought it, used it, fantastic, way more uh, worth it than the price. Um, but this year, they introduced the OnePlus Pad 2. So, just a quick overview of this. This is the unboxing of it. We'll do a quick look and there's some accessories that also came with it, but this is it. It comes in Nimbus gray, I believe they call it. Um, but the boxing is pretty much not much to it. It's just red, white, typical OnePlus-esque boxing. But this is a OnePlus Pad 2. The biggest upgrade is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So it's definitely more powerful than last year's. But like I said, last year's was definitely not underpowered. It boasts a new, which I think last year's was 11 inches, but this is a 12.1 inch 3K display. And it does 144 Hertz refresh rate. It's got a 9,510 milliamp hour battery and it does 67 watt super boat charging, you know, their, their thing. Uh, it's got aluminum glass and it feels very premium from what I've been told. And we're gonna pull it out here too. It's got an enhanced media experience with speakers and screen. It's running Android 14. Um, I think it's the Oxygen OS. So this is Oxygen OS based on Android 14. Um, let's see, besides that, it's a tablet. It's a big screen, got a camera in the back, camera in the front, uh, 13 megapixel in the rear. And so it's very similar to last year's. Last year's was green. Uh, this year's it's gray, but camera lay layout is basically the same. It feels about the same size as last year's. Maybe I'm just having a, a brain lapse of what last year's size was, but either way, um, it supposedly looks very similar to last year. So moving forward in the box, you've got, looks like some, yep, just some books, which we all read before we go to bed to help us sleep. Off the side. And unlike most companies, they've got your typical OnePlus, Red USB, USB A to C included in the box. And look at this, you guys. My team kit it out here. But you don't really have to get it out, but 67 watt Super Vogue charger included in the box. So, I mean, there's nothing else in here but those two things, but what in the world? And it starts at $499, I think on the website as of today, uh, $449. So, I would say that's a pretty big steal for that price. So let's take a look at this tablet here. So it, OnePlus is hitting it hard this year. They've got the OnePlus Open, the OnePlus 12, they got this tablet. Um, and I think they're doing a pretty bang up job uh, in, the, in the hardware department. And I think I'm really happy with this. It does seem super thin, so you've got Speakers here, you can see that. And then you've got volume and power buttons. You've got, it looks like some, maybe an antenna spot. There's no SIM cards tray on this, so I'm not sure if that's what that is. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's probably for the, the stylus. That's probably where you charge your stylus. It magnetically sits right here at the top. On this side, you got the USB type C, as well as two more sets of speakers. And on the bottom, you have the Pogo pins for your accessories so I'm gonna go ahead and power this on and then we're gonna kind of go through some of the, the accessories that it does come with turn that on put it up here so it comes when you pre-order this device it came with a folio case so just a basic case um, nothing too extravagant but it basically covers the back and you can close it off to keep it safe um, not bad for a free deal I think they run 60 50 60 bucks for these from their website so getting it for free is definitely a nice little bonus 
And here it is, all is gray glory. So it's very basic. It just kind of opens and shuts. So we'll just toss this in here. So it magnetically flips the back and then closes. So, and you hear a click when you close it. So, and when you open it, you see how you hear a click. It could turn the screen off. So it is a smart, I guess you could say, they used to call it smart. And then to um, get it to, and then it has this little like, I don't know how you call it, like a props it up so you can see it. There's no keyboard and you have two, there's like two adjustment styles here. And that's it. It's a folio case. It covers the top and the bottom. Uh, it has a little lip over the camera to keep it safe. And I mean, it's a very typical, I guess you could say, tablet case. So when you pre-order, they also had on other accessories, they had a stylus or a pen and they had a keyboard case. And if you ordered one or both, you get like a 50% off or, you know, you got a discount. So in addition, we got the stylus. So this is a, uh, they have one with the first one. This one's different. It has erasing the line between digital and analog with the OnePlus Stylo 2 replicates the familiar feel of writing on paper near instant response and subtle vibration feedback elevate your experience. So it's a little different than the first one where it says it has a subtle vibration feedback. We'll have to see if that's true. 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity empower artists, students, and everyone in between. Creativity and workflows have never been easier or smoother Say goodbye to writer's block and hide a faster creativity and smoother sketching. That's just a little blurb from their website. Um, so this is the stylo. And like, again, unlike last year, they had the, the tablet was green and the tablet and the pen was white. Uh, this year, it looks like they are sticking with uh, the black and gray, which is fine. I don't, I mean, I like colors, but I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. So in the box, you have the pen. And then you have an extra tip because these do wear down. Um, most tablets uh, do come with extra tips in the in the in the box. Samsung is notorious for that when they had the pen included with the tablet. Again, you're right. I did say that Samsung does include pens with the box or the tablet, but it's also twice as expensive. So I think with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, this is the first tablet, by the way, you guys, uh, that has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, at least in the US. Uh, Samsung has yet to release their Tab 10 series, but the pen, that is right to the top. And I don't know if it's, yeah, I think there's a, yeah, that's about it. It just snaps on the top. And if you were in the system and it was working, you would see a little notification up here that's charging. But obviously I don't have, I'm not logged in, but this snaps right to the top. It doesn't seem as strong as, as last year's. It seems a little, I mean, it's on there, but it doesn't seem as like it sticks as hard as last year's or as Samsung's on the back. But like I said, 16,000 levels of, of pressure, sensitivity. So hopefully if you're an artist out there, which I know some of you are that use these kind of things, you can benefit from the pen and the, uh, the, the, the upgraded screen and the upgraded sensitivity of the of the pen. So, so the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, in addition to this, so we've got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, a, a nice screen. Uh, it's more of a taller aspect ratio too than most, which I kind of like, uh, but it also had this. This is what I will use. So with the, with the first one, I didn't get a folio cover like this year. I got the keyboard cover last year and it's actually pretty decent. I don't think these are backlit by any means, uh, but it's definitely something that you want to, you know, take a look at. So it just says it's a familiar six row layout, maximizes efficiency. It's a redesigned touchpad. So I think the touchpad is significantly bigger. It delivers, yeah, it's a bigger surface area and it says typing and swiping have never been easier. All right, so this is the OnePlus Pad Smart Keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. No knife required on these. That's another thing I've noticed about OnePlus. Their unboxing experience has been a lot nicer. I don't mean like it's extravagant and there's all kinds of stuff you can look at. It's just the ease of opening the product is much nicer. And uh, that's something that, you know, these bigger companies, and I say it's easier to get into and now I can't get into it because it didn't rip all the way. But the peel tabs are nice. A lot of companies do that. Some of the smaller companies, like I would say OnePlus is, at least here in the US, it's nice to see that. Get all my stuff out of the way. And as you can see, it looks just like the folio case from the back. Still got a bend. It's a little bit, if you look at the folio case, it's pretty similar. Bend is a little different spot. Take it off the side. You got 
information how to use it and install it, which it's not rocket science. And wow, okay, yeah, so this is definitely a bigger upgrade. Oh, it's very substantially heavier and thicker, so that's kind of nice. It feels really nice in the hand. And so here's an upgraded touchpad. I don't have the, the uh, last year's keyboard, uh, but you also see this NFC tag. So if you have a OnePlus 12 or, yeah, OnePlus 12, I think, or 13 or whatever, their they're, they're latest smartphone, you can actually use it to send things and stuff like that too and sync. Uh, but you got a much bigger trackpad. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to take the folio case off of the OnePlus, throw it off to the side. And as you can see, we're going to snap this on and then snap it on. And then, then you can kind of kind of set it to your exact which is a little different I think last year it only had like steps where you could like do this but now it's more free-flowing and you have more that's really nice you have more like area to move back and forward um, and then obviously like I said head sits right on top Okay, so there's another thing I just noticed. The pen does sit better. It, it's really tight. I was in the wrong spot. So if you put it over here, it's on there really good. So we'll go ahead and get this set up and we'll be right back. All right, so I got everything set up here and um, the keyboard is connected. I Now I know why the keyboard is a little heavier. It is a Bluetooth keyboard as well. So if you don't want to have them connected, you can actually separate it. So that's very interesting. So um, it goes over when you set it up, you know, dual connection mode, you can connect the keyboard, attaching it to your tablet or via Bluetooth. Um, and then when I attach the um, pen here, it automatically tells you, you know, this, the, the charge rate of your pen. Um, so you got everything connected. What's interesting is this touch pad is very, very nice and very responsive. Um, the screen looks beautiful so far. Uh, I haven't gotten too far, but like I said, you guys, this is the OnePlus Tab 2, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, top of line chipset for Android at this time. And so it could be a potential workhorse. I think this video I have going right now, I'm gonna edit it on this device to see how nice it is, um, see how quick it is. I don't think I've ever actually edited and create a video on an 8 Gen 3 device. So this should be something interesting. So when you guys do see this video on YouTube, you'll know that, hey, this was edited and created on the OnePlus Pad 2. So this is so just a quick overview. I got into the system and a couple things I didn't mention. Uh, it does run Android 14, like I said, and it's very, very silky smooth. And it, with when you have an Android device, you can just, if it's close by, you can take a picture of the QR code and set up takes less than, I mean, a couple minutes. Um, obviously, if you're starting from fresh and you don't have an Android device, it might take a little longer, but it's not like terrible. Um, the other thing is that it does, last year's was 120 gigabytes of storage. This is 12 gigs of RAM and 256. So double the storage, which for me is a huge, huge big deal because 120 was definitely not enough for a tablet where you're doing a lot of work on them. So again, this is the OnePlus Pad 2, uh, new and improved this year, mostly on the inside and some new fresh colors and definitely some needed uh, updates, uh, I think. And they're definitely welcome over the first edition, which was definitely a stellar device. So if you have the first one, should you upgrade? That's up to you. Um, they're offering trade-ins on the first one. I think they gave you, at the time of pre-order, they gave you like 220 some dollars, which isn't terrible, considering this is about 499 new. Uh, so it's definitely a significant discount. Uh, but either way, if you stick with the original device, you're not gonna have any problems. And the new one is definitely something that you can do a lot more gaming on maybe. So again, this is Jason with Tuna Tech. Catch you next time.